Hi, welcome to Skein Studio. My name is Kristen. Uh, you can find me on Ravelry as K10 and on Instagram as Skein Yarn. Uh, this is episode number 61 and it is Friday, Black Friday. Uh, it's a beautiful day outside. It's sunny, it's hot. Um, summer is coming as opposed to last week when it was actually quite cold. Um, hopefully that is behind us and yeah, summer's on its way. I'm I'm actually going to work after I speak to you guys. It's the morning here. So um, I'm hoping that it will be nice and sunny when I leave because I didn't leave work this afternoon because I really would like to go for a swim. Um, yeah. What was I going to say? We've been very busy at work actually. Um, it's that time of year where you're getting ready to close down for Christmas and New Year and you need to be very organized to make sure you have stock ordered and things died and yeah it's just really crazy. Um, I can tell you when Christmas and New Year comes around and we take a little bit of time off I'm really ready for it <laughs> every year because yes it, it is it's extremely busy. But anyway, um, that's good. It's good to be busy. Uh, I have a few uh, works in progress to show you. Um, I Last week I was showing you the test knit that I was knitting for Hohi. And if you didn't see last week, um, I actually don't have the uh, project here. But it's just a simple uh, top-down jumper that I'm knitting. Um, I haven't done any work on it. Um, I had to put it aside for a bit because uh, I was finding my fingers getting quite sore knitting it and I think it was because of the weight of the body of the jumper. It was um, yeah, putting lots of strain on my hands. So I've just put that down for a little bit. I will pick it back up um, in a day or two. But yeah, just having a little break from that. Um, all I have to do is the rib at the bottom now and pick up for the sleeves. So I'm almost there with that. Um, I have been working a lot on my uh, surprise party shawl. This is by Helen Stewart of Curious Handmade and I've made a huge ton of progress mainly because we have an update next week where we release all of our new colorways and we have put together five kits for this particular shawl. Um, so let's show you. I want to make sure my needles don't come off. I mean, my stitches don't come off my needles. Oh, here we are. So I've done a huge ton of work. I love this shawl. I'm so enjoying knitting it. It's just flying off my needles. Um, it's an absolute joy. Um, I am using the Whisper, this is all our yarn, Whisper colorway, uh, which is a nice kind of neutral, and then i am added uh, the mini skeins of uh, Sunshine. Uh, this is pretty in pink. The purple, which um, kind of doesn't stand out as much, is Wisp, uh, Blueberry, and Portocayo. And yeah, I'm so enjoying this. I'm finished all the colour work sections now. I'm on to the border. And I have a million stitches on the needles. So because this is a semicircular shawl, you don't um, increase every row. You increase, I think this shawl has a total of about four increased rows, but you double the stitches every time. So it, yeah, you sort of knitting and you're thinking you have a lot of stitches on your needles and then you double it again and it's like whoa um yeah really enjoying it um I, you just can't go wrong with this shawl i mean there's so many different ways you could knit it i think it'd be nice to see a dark um main color and then some maybe pastely light colors that'd be fun um, but yes, everybody's shawl that I've seen on Instagram, like I said last week, I I just love. I just think it's fantastic. So yes, this is a surprise party shawl by Helen Stewart, aka Curious Handmade, and I highly, highly recommend it. It's just so much fun to knit. 
so yeah that's that one um i have also cast on a swatch or oh, actually i finished a swatch so last week i was talking about the portage uh uh i was going to say shawl portage cardigan by dandy long uh, dandy long dandy lion girl designs and i cannot say her last name it's melissa I'll put it down below. I actually googled it and even Google couldn't tell me how to pronounce her last name. So yes, I'm not even going to try. Um, but this is the uh, cardigan with the big pockets. I'll put a picture in. It has um, stockinette stitch front and then sort of a cable-y um, um, honeycomb sort of design on the back. It's really really nice. Uh, I have eight skeins which I dyed up of this colorway which is our new colorway called Sleep In and when I actually came up with this colorway I really really loved it so I dyed myself up eight skeins of DK um, to knit at some stage and yes I found this cardigan so it all sort of came together well it's a kind of a dusky pink. It's really, really pretty. I'm really happy with it. Uh, so I um, did a very, very small swatch last night. And I'm on gauge. So this is 4.5mm needles and I'm getting 20 stitches to 4 inches, which is exactly what I need. Um, yeah, so I'm going to cast this on when I finish the shawl, and I can't wait. It's going to be fun to knit. Uh, talking about needles, uh, and it was lucky actually, it all sort of came together very well. Um, about uh, a month ago I was contacted on Instagram by Hi Hi Europe and they asked me if I would like to review uh, some needles for them and I said yes of course so um, they asked me what kind of needles I would like to try and the size of the needle and uh, what length cable anyway so I sort of asked them for a 4.5 millimeter needle only because I was thinking of at the time knitting a jumper or a cardigan and I thought that would be a good size. Um, and I also got the, what is it, 100 centimeter cable, just in case I needed to do magic loop, which is usually the way I do my sleeves. So that's higher, higher. Yeah, that's the needles. That's the cables. <laughs> so these arrived the beginning of this week. And um, yeah, I've. I needed the swatch with them, so I can't really uh, comment too much yet because I haven't really um, used them much, but I I quite enjoy it. They're really lightweight. I have been using a lot of metal needles, um, and that is because I'm after more speed uh, than, um, yeah, because the metal needles obviously you knit quicker, because uh, the, the stitches um, come off the needles a lot quicker than they do with bamboo needles um, and yes these are quite grippy with uh, yarn so these needles would be very very good for beginner knitters uh, yeah and uh, I at the moment the join on the needles uh, is very very good I have another set of needles which I can't remember the name of where the join is terrible and um, the stitches keep catching and it's not, it's weird because it's, I spoke about this a few podcasts ago but it's not every needle that does it, it's just um, a couple of them and I think there's, where the join is, they haven't um, finished it off properly so the metal is still a bit catchy, it hasn't been filed down properly but uh, these are great, I'm really really enjoying them uh, yeah, so that was in the mail. 
Um, I haven't got any finished objects. I've done no sewing. Uh, last week we went away, as I said, to Yamba, and I was going to sew on Sunday, but then all of a sudden I got the spring cleaning bug, and I went through all my cupboards and my wardrobe, and I chucked out a lot of old clothes, so <laughs> that was good. But yes, it didn't leave me much time to do any sewing. Um, I do have, unfortunately, a knitting fail. Um, so if you remember the Peasy cardigan that I was knitting with the War Collection um, BFL DK, I had run out of yarn. This happened like years ago. So it's been sitting in my cupboard um, and I've been trying to decide what to do with it. Anyway, I did decide to frog it and I sat there last night trying to frog the cardigan and I got maybe a ball like one whole skein I was able to frog and then all of a sudden I got to the underarm section and I just could not frog it like I tried finding the ends on both sides and I tried pulling the stitches out and they just would not come out it kept catching and um, I don't know what I was doing wrong I kept thinking well maybe I was taking the yarn from the wrong side but then I tried the other side and the same thing was happening it just wasn't pulling apart so I got scissors and I cut um, very carefully I cut the sleeves off hoping that that might uh, help it didn't in the end I just gave up so unfortunately that project has gone to the bin um, I did like I said I managed to salvage one skein so I will do something with that, but I thought what I will do is buy um, more of her yarn, that's Walk Collection yarn. She had an update last week and I did look at it, but then I thought, well, I'll frog the, the um, project that I already have and I'll knit that yarn first. Anyway, then this happened and I went back to her shop last night and had a look and pretty much everything sold out. So I'm going to wait for her next update and then I'm going to buy more yarn. Uh, so lastly, I just wanted to talk about a few new patterns that I came across this week. Um, there were three that actually caught my eye on Ravelry and I am definitely going to knit one of them. Um, I was actually looking for yarn last night uh, for it. Uh, but yes, that won't be happening for a little while. Um, so that pattern was Let It Fall by Matilda Cruz. Um, this is actually, well, it hadn't been released last night. It was going to be released on the 24th, which is today. But that's today, Australia, which is usually a day before everybody else. So it'll probably be out tomorrow. Um, it's a really really nice uh, top down I think it says it's kind of confusing because on the Ravelry page it has top down and then bottom up so I'm not quite sure what that means and I didn't have the pattern to have a look at but it, there's this really nice lace pattern that goes down the front and then like around to your shoulders and halfway down the back that's really really pretty um, it uses a sport weight yarn which oh, is funny, last night I was looking online for hand dyed um, sport weight yarn and I couldn't find it anywhere. Um, it seems most dyers use, have bases for sock, which I know is extremely popular, um, DK and worsted and chunky, but there is a definite lack of um, sport yarn which is really interesting I think maybe it's to do with climate because sport yarn here in subtropics and most of Australia uh, is actually a really good uh, weight for us to use because it's not super thick and um, warm but anyway so yes uh, she used it's called Cheeky Merino Joy by Rosie Green Wool and it's in a gorgeous golden colorway I love that color um, so yes, I am looking forward to that coming out and I'm just looking at it here on Reverie and it still hasn't been released, so probably tomorrow. So that was the first pattern. The second pattern that, that I came across was the Everyday Cardigan by Ashley Kaiser. And 
this is really interesting because it's not a knitting pattern, it's a crochet um, cardigan. And I really, really like it. Um, I don't usually go for crochet cardigans, um, although I have seen a couple that um, are quite nice. But this one is a... it's, it's crocheted from a worsted uh, weight yarn. She used Touch of Alpaca Lion brand. And uh, she says in the description that you can actually crochet this in a weekend, which is quite amazing. I know crochet is a lot faster than knitting. Um, but yeah, she said it's it's an easy level entry crochet pattern and the techniques you will need to know are single crochet, half double crochet, double crochet, front and back post double crochet, chain stitch and slip stitch. Um, so yeah, might be interesting to try. I think it looks really, really cute. And it's free, so that's even better. Uh, the last pattern that I came across was the Humulus by Elizabeth Kramer. And there's been quite a few of these jumpers that have come out. And of course they always do this kind of style come out at this time of year when it's uh, the Northern Hemisphere is going into winter. And it's the yoked um, sweater with the colour work around the yoke. I really like this though, it's very simple. Um, I love the design that she's used for the colour work at the top of the yoke. Uh, she says it's worked seamlessly from the top down and of course you use a few short rows at the back to lift the back up. Um, she's used, it's a worsted weight uh, wool so it'd be really really quick to knit up. Um, it's really pretty, I really really like it. She's um, done it in this gorgeous grey and yellow. Again, yellow, I think that's probably what ca catches my eye. Um, but I have some, but I'm pretty sure it's DK, I'll have to check. I do have some um, Viola yarn that I got, it's when she was working at um, John Arbin and they released a line of yarn and I'm pretty sure you can still buy it and it's this beautiful um, light kind of creamy color and then the there's a really beautiful blue that goes with it and I think that would look perfect in for this jumper um, but I don't know what the weight is I'll have to check I have this feeling that it might actually be DK but anyway so yeah, uh, and that's available now, so yeah, something to uh, look at for later. And that's it for this week. Um, I hope you're all well, and if you're in the US, happy Thanksgiving uh, for yesterday, but it's actually today that you're in Thanksgiving, but like I said, we're always a day ahead. Um, and yes, I will see you guys uh, next week, hopefully. Um, so yeah, until then, happy knitting and see you then. Bye!